Okay, hello, here we are. This is my new RC plane, a Sukhoi SU-29, an acro plane, like you can see. But uh, what I want, wanted to talk about just is the engine. The, there is an OS-46LA uh, mounted inside it, the plane. Uh, I can think you can barely see it here. <laughs> it's just inside the cowl here. Just tie the camera a bit. Here you should see the super silencer, the original part by your OS the manufacturer. And as you may know, the OS LA engines are cheap ones, just with um, oil bearings, no no ball bearings, and a very primitive one needle carburetor. And these engines are not very powerful, but I had this spare one and thought why well, buy a new one when I could just mount this LA engine in my new plane here. But there's some, some problem. I already mentioned that it has a bit few power and so I thought why not tune it a little bit. And the first part I tuned is a um, silencer as I already sh showed you. There are three chambers inside with walls separating them and of course holes in these walls where the exhaust gas can flow through. And uh, this silencer is known for its big air drag and not only muffling the sound but also the power. And so I enlarged all the holes to as approximately twice the diameter area. And this already gained a lot of power. I have a G-Sonic 12 to 6 inch prop here. Maybe you can, no, I think you cannot read it on the display here. The, the text here is a 12 to 6 inch prop and uh, with only the muffler tuned the engine ran over 10,200 RPMs with this prop and as you may know the 12 to 6 inch prop is maybe the biggest one recommended for the engine by US so this is already a very good performance enough for simple 3D flying the plane weights 1.8 kilograms but it's a bit less when you are, when you are hovering still standing in the air with the prop right up and you want to climb straight out you may see that it has a bit few power and it is not the best thing when you have just a few hundred uh, gram more thrust than the plane weights and so I thought it's maybe good in, if the engine has just a bit more power and so the next thing I tuned is the carburetor I think you cannot see it here, no, maybe a bit uh, this is the carburetor here and it has a, a diameter of the hole in the throttle barrel of 5.5 uh, mm millimeters originally and I enlarged it to 6.5 millimeters and this already gained a few hundred RPMs more I think it might run maybe almost 11,000 now with this prop just guessing from the sound because I have no RPM meter here but there's also a problem and this is a idle speed. It was very hard to tune the carburetor to a just um, a bit reliable idle. It was very difficult because the, I always when I tied the nose of the plane down, I will just show you what I mean. Uh, I have to loosen it here. When I do this, and the plane is in this position, use the usual position when it stands on the ground, it's all okay. But when I tied it down a bit, like when, I, when I'm thinking, the engine instantly dies. And uh, so I had to lean out the mixture to prevent it, the engine from, from being flooded when idling it in sink position. And now I mentioned it a bit, uh, I managed it a bit that it, at least I can keep it running when I give it a bit more throttle then. But I think it's best when I just show you the engine running with you. RPMs and noises and then then you can judge it a bit better than from my simple explanations. Okay. Now the engine is running at uh, a bit more than idle speed. See how I consider here. Now we'll go down to idle. See it's flying a bit rough. I cannot slow it down anymore because there are some moments when it slows down even more and then it will die. So 
So this is your slowest reliable idle now. You can also fly the throttle. It works quite well. Great. The key is not very stable the idle here. Unstable. This is a problem of the board out carburetor. Okay, oh, uh, that's for my transmitter here. Now I will demonstrate you full throttle. It's a very rich tuned mixer because uh, the mixer needs to be tuned so that when the plane stays straight up in the air, the engine must not lean out because this is when I need full power. When hovering and climbing straight up, I don't need full power for flying just um, horizontally. So I choose the engine very, very rich. And now this is the full throttle. Half throttle. Three quarters. Full throttle. Ah, not bad for that. That's 75 LA and then... Oh, that's 76 LA of course. As you see, now I have slightly, slightly higher throttle before the engine tends to die. So this is, this is idle now, idle speed. Now some revving. I think you got what I meant just from explaining you. Okay, this is it about my tuned device focusing LA engine. Okay, just shut it down now. Okay, that was it. Yeah, have a nice day and thank you for watching and listening.